The Wild West era was notorious for its violence and gunfights, and even today it continues to capture our imaginations as evidenced by the countless Western movies that continue to be made. Many modern day shooters grew up watching these films, which is why it's no surprise that lever action rifles, single action revolvers, and cowboy action shooting remain popular today. In this context, it's worth exploring the most memorable and legendary gunfights of the Old West, which have become the stuff of legend. Here, we'll delve into the top 5 most brutal shootouts of the Wild West, which have been etched into the annals of history. One of the most legendary gunfights of the Old West was between Wild Bill Hickok and Dave Tutt on July 21st, 1865. In the town of Springfield, Missouri, at the time, Dave Tutt was a gambler and James Butler Hickok, also known as Wild Bill Hickok, was a lawman and a gunslinger. Tutt had the upper hand in the card game they were playing and at the end of his money, Hickok bet his prized watch against Tutt's winnings. Tutt won the bet, which was not only humiliating but angered Hickok, who was known to be a sore loser. Hickok warned Tut that if the new owner of the watch as so much as only looked at it, he would kill him. Tut did not care about the war warning and showed off the watch around town. This further angered Hickok, who challenged Tut to a duel. The distance between the two men was 75 yards, which was rather long, and there was also the risk that whoever drew first and won the fight might have to face the hangman afterwards. As a result, the game of challenges started, and Tut was the first to lose his nerve. He drew first, which might have been a winning move under different conditions, but was rather reckless against Hickok, who was skilled with guns. Hickok took his time to aim carefully and drew two, hitting Tut in the heart. Versions of this fight that even mention a fence post that he used as a rest to stabilize his aim. Regardless, Hickok did his best and took the heart of Tut. He then took back his watch, which was the source of conflict. This gunfight was not only legendary because of the quick draw and precise aim of Wild Bill Hickok, but also because of the circumstances of it. The conflict began over a watch that Hickok valued so much, and it ended in a duel that could have had life or death consequences. It also took place in a public setting, which was not common for gunfights in the Old West. The fact that the law was present added another layer of complexity to the situation. In the end, Hickok was acquitted of the murder of Tut because it was ruled a fair fight. However, the incident stayed with him for the rest of his life, and he became known as a legendary gunslinger. The Frisco Shootout of December 1st, 1884 on the lower San Francisco Plaza in New Mexico was a famous gunfight that involved Alfigo Baca, the sheriff of a town who appointed himself to the position. Baca wanted to arrest a cowboy, but it ended up badly for him as the cowboy started shooting at him with the help of 80 of his friends. Baca took refuge in an adobe house and planned to defend himself as long as necessary. The cowboys besieged the house, firing an estimated 4,000 rounds of which 400 hit the house, but none hit Baca. Baca, not shy about his firepower, fired back and managed to kill four attackers and wound eight more. The siege lasted for 36 hours, and unbelievably, Baca managed to survive without a single scratch. When the attackers ran out of ammo, it was a signal for Baca to stroll out of his refuge unscathed. He went on with his career as a lawyer and legislator and died in his bed in 1945 at the age of 80. The Frisco Shootout is commemorated by a sculpture of Alfigo Baca in the center of Reserve, New Mexico. The sculpture shows him as a central protagonist of the fight, with a plaque on it quoting him as saying, Texans, I'm not afraid of American cowboys. The gunfight between Baca and the cowboys is a legendary tale that's been passed down through generations. While the Frisco Shootout is famous, it was not the only gunfight in the Wild West. Another notable gunfight was the one between Luke Short and long-haired Jim Courtright, which took place in Fort Worth, Texas in 1887. Luke Short was a famous gambler and gunslinger, while Jim Courtright was a notorious outlaw and a lawman who had been accused of corruption. The feud between the two men had been brewing for some time, with Courtright accusing Short of breaking the law. Short responded by challenging Courtright to a gunfight. On February 8, 1887, the two men faced off in the streets of Fort Worth. The gunfight was quick, with Short shooting Courtright dead in just a few seconds. While the Frisco shootout and the gunfight between Short and Courtright are both legendary tales from the Wild West, they're also reminders of the violence and lawlessness that characterized that era. Despite their notoriety, these gunfights represented a darker side of American history. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more.